What's up, YouTube? Stu Dog here. Going to be doing some old format duels for the win. Um, but yes, I was on Dueling Network trying to be doing some old format duels with Water Synchro, one of my favorite decks of all time here. Um, just for the fun of it, because you know, I was just really in the mood to do it. I just found out that I had this deck already made on this account, so I was like, you know what, let's just play it, see what decks we can go up against and up against in unlimited so here go to my favorite play ever the fishburg blaster formula synchron play it's just so fun and here i'm going up against one of those elemental hero decks or something i don't even know what it's called it's like triple elemental hero stratos and then like a whole bunch of other stuff i just we actually do another duel with this guy later on that's going to be the last duel but here I go for, you know, the good old shenanigan plays, Formula Synchron. I summon Formula Synchron like at least nine times throughout these duels. It's just so fun, especially with Pot of Everest too. This deck is really good. He goes for the Monster Gate into Stratos. Stratos effect to fetch um, Diamond Dude. So he's playing, I, don't, I forgot what this deck's called, but I mean, I'm pretty sure like one of you guys know what it is. He goes for Dimension Fusion, which is just such a broken card to get back just anything for your banish zone of course I don't have anything in mind so I can't do anything but you know since I got the the battle fader you know it's all good so I won't get out to gate so he goes for an exceed which is just hilarious cuz you know the exceeds that he's playing weren't even out during his decks prime and like in another duel like he goes for silent honor arc which like isn't even out like when this deck was out silent honor arc out oh, wasn't even a card I don't want to call it cheating but you know I mean it's really not using the deck what cards were out and when the deck was you know good so here I go for um, I'm able to actually win this turn as you can see thanks to lovely formula Syngron I go for another fishboard blaster play and I end up drawing in a dark hole which is able or which makes me be able to win the game since I can reborn and like you know stuff like that it's really good dark hole is field then monster reborn Caius and that will be game number one yeah, there you go. So I end up winning that. The next duel I'm going to be going up against, or be doing, is going to be Goat Control. So I actually, I go second this time. He ends up delinquent doing, duoing my, my dandy, and I end up pitching Pot of Avarice, which is a pretty bad play. I should have actually pitched Valor, but you know, it's okay, so... We get to see which deck's better, Goat Control or Water Synchro. I don't want to attack because if it's a Magician of Faith, you know, he's going to get back that... that um, delinquent duel, and that's gonna be so, oh, so painful. End up blind him as Ting, his torrential, and I don't have to fear solemn warning because I know solemn warning, like you know, wasn't even out then. Same thing with stuff like fiendish chain, solemn warning, you know. So there's only like a limited spell card or spell and trap cards I have to fear. I go for more fishboard blaster plays. It's so fun. This deck was so awesome when it was out. Um. So, yeah, I go for, you know, yet again, another Fishburg Blaster play, and I end up wasting all my three formulas pretty fast during this match. Like, there's a time, like, during the end of this duel, and I I wish that I would have, you know, saved some of them. Summon Lone Fire, or wait, no. I think I summon Swap. Yeah, just to deck thin, because I need to draw into a Monarch. I haven't drawn into a Caius or Ryza, which are the only six Monarchs I play in this deck. He attacks formula, I'll take another 2,500 to the face, and then I finally draw into a Ryza, so it's pretty good. I end up going, I think, for another Fishborg play, I forget. Yeah, discarding Swap Frog. And he Book of Moons my, my Treeborn, which is really nice, because he gets rid of that. I'm able to spin his Sangin to the top of his deck, and then he Econs my Ryza to put in defense mode, and... Uh, there's the snatch deal. Snatch deal is j that came out of nowhere, but once again, Battle Fader just putting in so much work. Like, you know, Battle Fader is just so good in this deck and stuff. You know, that would have been two mat, two games I would have already lost if it wasn't for Battle Fader. So, you know, really nice stuff. Here I end up misplaying, or it's not even misplaying. It's just I realize that I don't have any um, formulas left in my extra deck, so I can't really go for the Black Rose play I was thinking of going for, unfortunately. So I could bring out like Spore and then go for like some Black Rose play or something like that. So I really have to rethink the play I'm going to do right here. I end up going for, I think, the other Lone Fire in my deck and then synchroing into Goyo Guardian and 
which, you know, that's pretty much the best play I could have probably done, since I don't want to waste my Monster Reborn yet. Um, so yeah, I attack over the Ryza, he gives it to me, and then I'm just, I just sit there, f waiting for next turn to happen, and yeah, I just end. His turn, he DD Warriors, ladies, his only way to get past Goyo Guardian. I top deck that lovely glow up bowl, which is just such a terrible top deck. I'm really forced to, you know, waste my Monster Reborn at this point. I don't, I think I go for like, a, I think a Stardust. Because I think Stardust Dragon's a really good card against Goat Control. I don't really know, they don't have, they don't have that many outs to it. Because, you know, D Prism wasn't a card yet. Like, DD Warrior Ladies, like, they're only out to, like, Stardust that I can, like, think of off the top of my head. I don't really know. Uh, summon the Ryza. I can't go for Formula, so I have to Synchro all, all of them. Go for Stardust. And I was also thinking about if I could make a Trish right there, but I, I actually couldn't. Which, that would have been awesome if I could have just trish a load right there. Oh, my God. Switches Sang into Defense. Standby Phase, get back Tree Morn. And I'm thinking about what play to do. He ends up quitting because I think he knows that I can win. But um, I end up milling for Glow Bowl by Mill Spore, which is so lucky. And then I can banish Spore for Armory Arm and Synchro with Armory Arm to go Scrap Dragon. Scrap Dragon pops Sangin, and then those two attack for games. So that was that duel. And so, you know, pretty nice, pretty good start. And now I'm going up against the same deck I went up in the first duel. Um, we end up going up against each other again. I, I forgot his username, but he's able to go first this time. He starts out with some really good plays. The Stratos into Mali, and then he just ends. I open, I mean, I open pretty decent, but I'm actually able to get off, like, no Fishboard Blaster plays this game. And, um, as time goes on, my hand gets really bad. I just chain Maxi to the, what is that card called? Premature Burial. He goes for Triple Stratos. Which is hilarious. Stratos to get Stratos, to summon Stratos to get another Stratos. Seems legit. I top deck Dandelion, which is terrible. Like, my hand is terrible. Like, Spore, Dandelion, Treeborn, and, I mean, even MST really isn't that good against his deck. I think about pitching for Swap, end up not doing it. I attack over his other Stratos, just then set MST, just in case he has, like, another premature burial or something. So yeah, so he summons his third Stratos to get Dasher, and then he activates DDR to get Strato another Stratos, uses his second effect, I chain to get rid of that, and then, oh, let's see, I don't really remember, he just ends, so you know, I'm, I'm looking in a pretty decent position right here, I top deck Lone Fire, which is a pretty good card, um, you know, to tap deck, I can summon it, and then go for glow up bulb something like that it would be really no oh, if i would have top decked one for one that would have been the best top deck in the entire game one for one dandy and then just go off that'd be insane one for one is so good in this deck i end up top decking another dead mst which is just terrible i end up pitching for swap just so i can have a live pot of avarice because i really need to draw into a battle fader because you know on, on traditional who knows when any deck can just OTK out of nowhere, so I really just need to draw into a battle fader so bad. I end up attacking first just in case he has gores, so then I can, you know, synchro into something else. I end up going to Stardust Dragon, which, you know, I don't really know, just for the for the L LOLs, I guess. Even though Stardust Spark Dragon probably would have been a better play, I don't know. But, I mean, that card wasn't really out when this deck was around and stuff, so... I end up setting the MST, which is the biggest misplay ever, just in case he had another premature burial. I mean, that was just terrible. So now I can't even summon my Ryza. And he goes for 101, which it's like, really? You're really going to play cards that weren't even out at the time? Are you really going to do that to me? Um, but that was pretty painful. I end up setting Dandelion because, you know, I'm thinking, you know, just in case I can survive another turn, I'll be able to, you know, be able to you know, go for Rise of Play next turn, but I keep on forgetting that he has, d he the, that double Mally that he had, he Destiny drilled, getting a free Pot of Greed, and then he gets a free Reasoning, which I completely forgot about, and that Heavy Storm, too, it's just too good, oh god, and at this point, I'm pretty much, you know, pretty much know that it's gonna be over, because, 
you know, even if I have a dandelion that can survive me through three attacks, who knows what, you know, these decks can do here on DN, or on traditional. And he goes for the magical stone activation to get back the most brokenest card in the game, Dimension Fusion, to get back all those freaking banished monsters. Oh god, that is painful. That is so painful. He activates it and... It is pretty much game over. I mean, if I had a battle fader, I would still have a chance because I could econ and then I could rise up and I could go for, you know, some plays. But, you know, <laughs> now that all that's gone, you know, it's pretty much over. But, you know, you got you guys got to see some old format duels, some old format decks just for, you know, the fun of it. And, you know, anyway, guys, thanks for watching for duels. I've been Stu Dogs signing out.